channel so for today's video we are going to be doing Lindsay Arnold's hair I've done her a few times here on my channel but I always get requests on exactly how I do her bright blonde because it's a little bit lived in but it's still really bright and beautiful but I wanted to make this video a challenge and we are going to be using all Goldwell products today so from the lightener to the root tap to the toner everything's going to be Goldwell so if you want to see what I use and how we do it stay tuned all right guys, so I am mixing up two different formulas. I am doing the OxyCure with 20 volume in this bowl and then 30 volume in the other bowl. We're gonna be using the 20 around the hairline and the 30 in the back and then towards the last coils just so that everything processes evenly. And then I am going to be putting a silver brush in one of them and then the black brush in the other so that we know that one is 20 and one is 30. We're also going to be mixing up a low light for her hair. So I'm using Goldwell Colorant 7N, 7NA, equal parts with the processing lotion. All right, so this is her before. The last time we did her color was before she had her baby, so I think it was like four months ago. Her hair actually grew out pretty nicely, but she does have those roots coming in, and her hair is a little bit darker, so we're just wanting to brighten her up today. We are only doing a partial, and I'm gonna show you guys how many foils you can get away with doing in a partial, but still making it look like it's a complete refresh. So the most important thing is making sure that you get that detailed hairline in there. This is honestly the most important step when it comes to doing a blonde, because this is visually what they see when they look in the mirror, what they see when they pull their hair back, and ultimately what makes them feel the most blonde. So I am doing tiny baby lights stacked really closely together around the entire interior. And then we're gonna show you what Stu's doing in the back. So we are doing a mohawk section here and he's just starting here and then he's gonna be following that mohawk section all the way up. And he is going to be doing baby lights with the 30 volume. And then I'm working with the 20 in the front and then we will meet in the middle on the top. It doesn't even make sense. What I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk It's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away all right, so now we're doing the front hairline and this is really important because a lot of blondes really want that piece to pop. I'm not doing any slices. I'm actually just doing back to back, really fine, tightly packed baby lights to give us a brighter piece. And then we are just going to transition into baby lights that are just a little more spaced apart so that that front stands out, but it's not too big of a transition and it doesn't look too chunky. And I should let it be, but I'm gonna die. Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive Dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it And I actually didn't get any footage of us putting the low lights in, but I just had our assistant Piper go through and add low lights in wherever we felt like we needed them. So we basically do the full highlight and then we just go through and pick and choose where we pull that low light through. Some of them went all the way down and some of them were just kind of like halfway down the foil. So we did add those as well. 
Now that this front section is done, I'm actually taking all of the dropouts from this front piece and I am just going to be putting a little bit of lightener on her teased out ends. The reason I'm doing this in the front only is because it will help that front just pop a little bit more and that's going to help us look a little bit brighter. You could do this to all your dropouts, but I felt like she really only needed it in the front since this is just a partial. But I know they won't and I should let it be. But I'm gonna die Right, so she is all processed we are now at the bowl my first step is to pull all of the foils I typically do a clarifying shampoo and then I put Olaplex or a deep conditioner on her mids to ends and then I'm going to use our multi-use brush to brush through those make sure that everything's combed out before we go and apply our toner this is a metal bristle brush and it's amazing for combing through wet hair at the bowl or after we rinse her out now we are taking Goldwell Colorants 7N 7NA again and we are just going Going to be applying that to the root area we are doing a slight smudge just to kind of blend everything in and give it a more lived in appearance you can see that I left the front section out we are going to be doing that very last and we're actually going to be using a brighter formula around the front so that it doesn't go as dark and it does stay bright Alright, so I applied that root color anywhere that we had done the highlights in that mohawk section and then I'm just leaving the face frame out. I like to comb through this. It does have that Olaplex on the mids to ends, so combing through isn't going to cause any issues. It just blends everything together really nicely. And for the front hairline, I'm just going to be doing an 8N and I was going to do Goldwell Color Rounds, but I actually didn't have an 8N, so I'm doing Redken Shades EQ. That's the only part of this video I didn't use Goldwell, but I was going to, so it kind of counts. <laughs> but basically, I'm just shadowing this front area so that it stays a little bit brighter. This is a little trick. If you do one shade or one level lighter in the front, it'll just keep that front area really bright. You don't have to worry about it going too dark, but it still shadows it out so that it's a nice, perfect blend. So I'm just doing that around the entire hairline, around the sides and the top where her bang area is. For her toner, we are doing 10P, 10V with just a little bit of 10N. It's gonna give us a bright, ashy, kind of silvery blonde without it going too silver, which is why I add the N in there. And I am just massaging and working it through with everything. That root smudge is still on there and I am just mixing it all together and letting it process. I usually let Goldwell process a little bit longer, so this one's gonna process about 15 minutes. All right, we are back at the chair. We are just going to be styling her up and then taking photos. Let me know if you guys learned something from this video and if you want more tutorials like this one. I loved doing the challenge with just one color line. I love Goldwell so it wasn't too hard, but let me know if you would like to see this type of video with other color lines or other product lines. So have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die, die tonight